Hey, how's it going? I'm Nathaniel Berner of the University of Georgia Institute of Plant Breeding, Genetics and Genomics with a quick tutorial on how to set up and fly a mapping mission of an agricultural field with a Phantom 4 drone. You'll want to make sure you have the following. A Phantom 4 drone, four matching propellers, multiple fully charged batteries, a controller, a cord to connect to a phone or tablet, and a micro SD card with enough free space for collecting new photos. Additionally, you'll need to have installed Drone Deploy for planning the mission, UAV Forecast for checking current conditions, and optionally, the DJI 4 Go app for camera settings, firmware updates, and drone calibrations. To plan a flight, make sure you have a Wi-Fi connection and open the Drone Deploy app. To make a new flight, tap the Project button, and in the Map view, place the rectangle over the approximate area that you will be flying. Tap the blue button and give your project a name. Then, tap the standard option under Maps and Models, which will take you to the flight settings. For mapping missions, I set my flying altitude to 120 feet above ground. You can turn off most of the fancy options, such as Enhanced 3D. To further fine-tune the settings, switch off automatic settings. For front and side overlap, a general rule of thumb is to not go below 70 and 60% respectively for mapping missions. Sufficient image overlaps will be necessary for accurately stitching flight images later on. Also, to get a better idea of the flight time, select which drone camera you'll be using on the previous settings page. To mark the boundaries of the mapping area, go to each corner of the field and drag the corners to your location. In this case, Corners are marked with white flags. You'll want to leave a bit of buffer space to account for GPS differences between the map and the real world. Using a device with a data plan helps improve positional accuracy during this part. Next, simply go to the rest of the corners and repeat. Check the flight time to make sure the flight can be performed with only one battery. The true limit of your batteries may vary. Based on mine, I try to keep flights below 14 minutes. For mapping, it's best to fly around solar noon during consistent light conditions. In the UAV forecast app, check that the temperature is not too high or low for the drone, wind speed is below 20 miles per hour, visibility is at least 3 miles, and at least 8 satellites are visible for accurate image geotagging. Set up the drone by popping in the battery and double checking that it is fully charged. Next, twist on the propellers, matching the propellers with the black ring to the rotors with the black dots, and the silver ringed propellers to the unmarked rotors. Place the drone away from the plants in case it lands in a slightly different spot, and turn it on by double pressing the battery button. First a short press, then long press. The drone should power up and make a noise. Pop over to the controller and power it up in the same way, and your connected device should begin charging. Drone deploy will then display a few pre-flight checks, and if all is well, the start flight button will turn green. Give it a tap to start the flight, and after a few seconds the drone will take off and go about its flight path. Be sure to keep the drone in your line of sight at all times during the flight in case any hazards appear, such as a flock of birds or another drone. When the flight finishes, the drone will automatically fly back to where it took off. The controller will start beeping as it's descending. For safety reasons, do not grab the drone until the propellers have completely stopped spinning. To turn off, perform the same sequence of double taps on the drone and controller as you did to turn them on. Lastly, pack up all your drone parts in its carrying case so that it doesn't get damaged during transport. Thanks for watching.